she prophesied the oppression of Portuguese in the Kingdom of Congo and it's exactly happened. She preached that Jesus was a black from Congo and today I'm presenting to you Kimpa Vita, a prophetess who changed the religion narrative in the Kingdom of Congo in Africa. Named Beatrice Kimpavita, she was born in 1684 in the Kingdom of Congo, which is today the country of Angola. She preached receiving a revelation from God that Jesus was a black from the Kingdom of Congo. And at that time, the Portuguese were having friendship relationship with the Kingdom of Congo. And according to her revelation, she saw that the Portuguese were later going to take the people from the Kingdom of Congo into slavery, which exactly happened. And also because there was war which was going on in the Kingdom of Congo at that time, she was asking people to get united and have have one king in order to have peace. She was first rejected by two kings who she went to meet and asked them to listen to her message and after she got many other followers from the population who could listen to the things which she started explaining and because of her the influence of Jesus being a black person grew so much in Central Africa that in most of the parts during that time they used to represent Jesus as a black person. But her teachings or her preachings were against the Catholic Church doctrines which meant that she was hated by the Portuguese and the Catholic followers and she was burnt, killed at the age of 22 by Catholic followers. Kimpavita made a very strong movement which influenced even other religious people of that time. Even after her death, some people could continue to practice her religion and until today, some people still view her as a prophet or as a goddess. And also she influenced also another religion which is until today widely practiced, especially in my country, Congo, which is called Kimbanguis. <laughs> And in that religion also, there is someone who is called Simon Kimbangu who was also attributed himself the abilities which are somehow similar to the abilities of Jesus, yet they still use the Bible and so many other Christian practice. The moral which I get out of this story of Kimpavita is something which accidentally came to my mind after thinking from the first time when I learned about Kimpavita, she was presented to us in primary school at that time as a witch practicing things which were not seen as good, which were destroying the population at those times. When, when I thought of so many other prophets who I could hear in other religions or in any religion it could be. They're just people who, who preach to have a revelation from God and from that they can oppose the religious leaders who can be at their time to bring their own version of the truth which they preach that they get it as a revelation from God. And that is exactly the same thing which Kimpavita had also. But just because the history was not on her side, she was portrayed to be as a witch and killed and even today when they teach about her story in Congo, they teach her as a witch instead of teaching her as a prophet or as a religious leader. And this explains how Africa have a lot of amazing things which just the history neglect and especially women also have been influencing a lot in the African history. But just because of so many things which have been getting from outside of Africa, they suppress everything which is about Africa and make it look as if it didn't have a past. Everything about Africa started when the colonialists came. Africa had a very powerful past and very amazing things in which even a woman had a very strong word as Kimpavita. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you like it and you can watch many other videos on which I will be explaining a lot of things about Africa. You can find the playlist of Must Know About Africa. I'm going to put the link in the description or somewhere around uh, in the cards of the end of the video. I hope you enjoy it and catch you next time. African women can really seduce you and you won't lose your life if you spend just less than five minutes to watch other African women who their brain are going to seduce you. Check my videos on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram and you're going to find amazing videos about African women and let's share amazing women from Africa to the world.